My name is Mike. Welcome to my channel or page if this is your first time joining me. Um, but I have been uh, deep into some research into some new topics and that's why I've been away. But I am back now with some very powerful information for you all today. And today I'm going to talk about using sacred geometry to alter and expand and evolve your consciousness and your mind. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what sacred geometry is, what it does to the mind and how you can use it to balance out the mind and evolve your consciousness. And also I'm going to give you some more kind of uh, esoteric explanations as to what this is pointing us to what is sacred geometry saying to us so what is sacred geometry sacred geometry is kind of these uh, a universal language of the cosmos of life if you will and it is a form of geometry that uses very specific ratios and patterns that are found in life um, and it's mostly based off of fractals. So it seems to be that we live in a fractal universe, which means that the way life and matter replicates itself in the physical dimension is through patterns of self-similarity, which are called fractals. So to give you guys an example, let me spin you over to my tree here. I have a tree, right? So this, let's see if you can see it, yeah. Okay, so here's a tree, right? The leaves on the tree is a fractal of this branch. This branch is a fractal of this trunk, okay? Which is a fractal uh, that is born within the seed of the plant, okay? So what that means is that every part of that tree grows uh, within the parameters of a very specific ratio, which is called the, go the golden ra ratio, excuse me. And most, this is very, very common information nowadays, which is really cool. So you could look up all that stuff if you're more interested. Uh, but I'm really talking to people who are kind of um, already in this world and familiar with the topics I'm talking about. So just as kind of like a teaser, I, I do want to give this information to you now so you're more apt to actually watch the video through because it really is, in my opinion, extremely special, potent, and powerful. So sacred geometry, literally like drawing sacred geometry or looking at sacred geometry, uh, meditating upon it, balances the left and right hemispheres of the brain. It does this through many mechanisms. One mechanism is through uh, the actual curving and line formation of the Cartesian plane within the geometry. So all straight lines like a triangle or a square, those are masculine lines. That's like the left logical brain which is very much uh straight to the point logical linear right linear like a line that's what what the word linear is derived from line so that is the masculine and the feminine is the curved flowing circular spiraling movement this is the balance of the shiva and shakti energies uh, of the indian system so by drawing these uh, structures, you're literally subconsciously cueing your mind to use both the left and right hemispheres of the brain simultaneously. So you're wi firing and wiring the them together, which strengthens the corpus callosum, which is the part of the brain that connects the left and right hemisphere, right? So this balances out the mind and, and in turn can balance out our masculine and feminine energies within us, those archetypes, those energetic patterns that we have within us. So through this balancing, we can actually open our channel up to higher consciousness and also embody, be, be more centered and embodied and here and balanced in our being, okay? In our physical being. And what's really special again about sacred geometry is as you draw it, you'll see that it's very natural. The structure kind of just almost draws itself over time as you get used to it. And the reason why this is so, why are they uh, these very specific self-similar fractal patterns is because you can think of geometry as frozen sound. So if P 
people who are watching this, you're probably familiar with the field of cymatics. If you're not, uh, I'll probably post the link to some, some cymatic videos, but cymatics is essentially was discovered by uh, a man who took a metal plate and put some sand on it and rubbed a violin string against the plate. And the frequency that the string made, the note that was played, made a specific geometric pattern, an ordered pattern in the sand. So notes are frequencies and frequencies uh, have geometries, have shapes. So you could think of geometry as frozen sound. It has a resonance. Sound has a resonance that can change our consciousness, right? Because I have had, personally have had experiences of listening to, for example, uh, the 528 hertz frequencies and some of the other solfeggio frequencies, <clears throat> which are these are standing waves. They're standing geometric patterns, but you can listen to them in the form of sound because sound and geometry are very interconnected. Okay. And that when I was meditating and listening to that sound, it actually altered my consciousness to the point where, um, I was beginning to have the the beginning symptoms of an out of body experience. I know it's an out of body experience now because I've have had them. So I realized that what was I was experiencing was the beginning of a projection of my consciousness, also called astral projection. And the sound uh, changed my consciousness and expanded it and enabled it to do that. So again, you could think of geometry as frozen sound. It has that resonance, but instead of a auditory resonance, it is a visual resonance. So what I have found is that in the short time I've spent of really going deep into drawing these patterns, sometimes I'll lay down and go to bed and close my eyes and I'll see them. They'll just pop up in my, in my, uh, in my mind's eye, my third eye, right? And those patterns have uh, a resonance that acts on the subconscious mind. So this is working on many, many levels. It's working on the conscious level of the left right hemisphere. It's working on the subconscious level. It's working on you um, on a resonant level, an energetic frequency based level. So let's get into it. Let's draw something. Okay, so we're gonna draw some sacred geometry here. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff, some fractalized patterns. Uh, bear with me. It's my first time filming a video in this manner. So what you will need is a compass, all right, uh, a pencil. I'm using mechanical. You can use whatever regular pencil, uh, a ruler so you can measure. Uh, these are just some other like uh, straight edges that I'm going to be using. Uh, an eraser, not necessary, but yep. And some paper. So you could get all this stuff at like a local CVS or something, or you could get it uh, online as well. And just super briefly before we start, this is a really cool book called The Quadrivium, and it uh, describes how number, geometry, music, and astronomy are all connected. And this is, was a, a classical, uh, traditional path of knowledge, you know, Plato, Plato, Pythagoras, Socrates, Aristotle, all those people studied this. And this was uh, actually, um, kind of like secret knowledge back in the day and today it's uh, wide open for anyone to learn and it's really great it shows you the connection between sound and music and uh, everything that I was talking about earlier okay and it goes deeper into like what the the actual effects of, of consciousness uh, that, that this geometry has on consciousness so to get started I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure out my compass uh, to four inches. We're going to do a four inch diameter, uh, four inch radius circle. So I just take my compass, boom, you see I'm at four inches, right? Measure it. Cool. And now I'm just going to measure, I'm just going to have some reference lines. Uh, I'm going to find the center point of the page. So I'm at about uh, eight and uh, five eighths here. So that'll be about around four and a quarter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just getting like a, a rough estimate of the center of the page. Okay. And these are just, uh, this is just going to be a reference line. So I know where my center is. And then I'm going to measure this way. I know this page is 11 inches. So half of that is five and a half. 
And don't worry, you really don't need to uh, be, you don't need to be comfortable with math to, to do this. Um, you don't need to know any special formulas or anything like that. Uh, it's just about building a relationship to the geometry. Okay, that's not perfect, but we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna put my compass on my center point and I'm going to draw a circle. So all of our geometries are gonna be inscribed within a circle, all right? And what I'm gonna show you today is the uh, star, we're gonna use like a Merkaba Star of David and show you how geometries fractalize because fractals again, as I showed you the tree earlier, is how matter manifests in the physical world, okay? And it's very interesting. Um, I'll go deep, so first, before I start explaining, a quick way to draw the Star of David, I'm just gonna go to my top point and give myself two little lines here, in my circle. Same thing, go to the, the center of the bottom half of the semicircle. Boom, two more lines here. And these are my reference points. So now I know I could draw a nice equilateral triangle. So I'll take my straight edge and just where it crosses, where that X is, that's where my lines are gonna be. So I'll show you what I mean by that. And what I personally, something I've been realizing, so boom, that's my bottom line for the ascending triangle. So this is the masculine shape within the feminine circle. So I'm balancing the left and right hemispheres, the feminine and masculine parts of the brain by doing this, and this is very meditative. So if you're not comfortable with sitting meditation, this is a great way to kind of get into a nice meditative state and give your mind something to focus on. Okay, boom, here's our upward triangle, and now I'll connect these lines. Sorry, I know I'm hitting the camera a little bit, but uh, yeah, see it doesn't have to be perfect either. Just doing a quick little demo. Am I out of, all right, I'm out of lead, just about. So let me grab another pencil. Boom. So there is a 2D Merkaba or Star of David, right? And I'm just gonna erase this, some of this center stuff so you can get a better idea of it. Beautiful. Okay. So, now why sacred geometry is so cool is because it's fractalized. So it shows you, as you'll see, is it shows you how infinity, the infinite can be embodied in finite form. So it shows you how a spirit, which is infinite, manifests in the finite physical universe, okay? So look, now you remember before, we just had a circle with a triangle, right? I actually drew the, the uh, yeah, I drew the ascending triangle first, doesn't matter, but. So in the beginning, we just had a circle with a triangle. So if I were to shorten up my compass here, Again, this is just rough, so I'm just finding like a rough central point of this mini triangle, and I'm going to uh, draw something for you guys. Hold on here. Okay. So now if I roughly find the center point and draw another circle around it, again, it's not perfect because I'm just kind of going quick here, but you'll see that that is the pattern we started with. So it's a self-similar repeating pattern, which is a fractal, okay? So now if I were to keep going around, it would do the same thing. Woo! It's okay if we mess up. Not doing it perfect, it's quite all right. My compass kind of broke there. Boom. There's another one, and you could keep going around like this, but eventually what you'll get is something like this. This is what a fractal could be. It could turn into this. 
So again, we ended up with the star of David here that, that we started with, and this is infinite. I could draw another circle in here, right? Like this and keep going and it's infinite. It goes on indefinitely. So again, this shows you how infinity is embodied in the finite form. And I think that's what one of the beautiful things that sacred geometry points us to is that we are infinite beings living in an infinite eternal universe and that the creative force that is manifesting uh, this universe is within us. And you could see I created shapes within it. This is a more complex one that you could create uh, out of uh, Metatron's cube. There's about probably about eight or so different geometries in here, nestled geometry. That's some more, slightly more advanced stuff. But very simple, you could start uh, just like this. All right guys, so that's it. That was my introduction to using sacred geometry to evolve your consciousness, balance out the hemispheres of your brain and tap into some resonant frequencies that can really start to uh, expand and alter your mind in some really powerful ways. I trust that this was a benefit to you. You could use this uh, method as a meditation. And uh, please like and subscribe for more comments, any questions, if you want me to do more tutorials like this, more in depth on the actual drawing, I can do that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.